Hello, hello, this is Minecraft here, and welcome to another episode of Minecraft Vanilla Super Flat Survival. And, oh my god, I've been just farming some more carrots and just, um, organizing all the stuff inside this chest since it was completely overflowing. And in the meantime, we got so much witches and mobs in there. This is just crazy. We can't even get to this thing. Just getting all bombarded by these potions of instant harming. It's crazy. Let's hope we get some more redstone from that. Yeah, these are the worst. I actually... Actually, surprisingly, it's quite easy to get killed from that. So... And I mean that it's actually quite easy to get killed by just standing here and trying to kill the uh, witches because I've actually been killed even at standing at a distance when I was um, shooting them with a bow and arrow and oh my god is there a lot of mobs in there it's just quite bad because at the same time it's very good but at the same time it's quite bad because I am not able to get there but one thing that I can do is I can just Ah, uh, yeah. And of course, since we're in hard mode, it takes a long time even to regenerate half a heart. And we can already see some potions of harming being thrown out and potions of slowness being thrown out. So, one of the only things that we can do really is wait. And in the meantime, I'm going to show you how I breed these pigs right here. So, if you look at that, I could just enter right here. Now, it looks like all of the pigs have kind of grown up, all the children pigs. Uh, all of the calves have grown up, and then I just run around here. Sometimes I take, I do this for a long time. Other times I do this for not so long amounts of time, depending on how much time I have. I just kind of spam it and run around and collect the XP that I get from breeding animals, well, pigs in this case. And actually, some of you are probably wondering, how come am I not piping the villagers into my villager breeder? And what I was thinking is I would just show you how much witches I got from that grinder and just show you how I breed the pigs. Just some general, regular um, housekeeping stuff inside my base. I think that, that I'm, gonna, I'm going to um, pipe the villagers up a bit later just because of the time that I have. And just because I really wanted to show you how much how much um, witches you can get from just a grinder like that. So Now one thing that I'm kind of worried is that I'm gonna actually all of some of the items may possibly despawn, so that's what I'm worried too. Another way is to get critical hits, so... And there's not only... the problem is, is also there's not only... there's also a bunch of other mobs there, so that's another problem with that. Um, of course, we got poisoned. It's gonna take a crap ton of time for me to regenerate right now, so... But it, it is really amazing how much, uh, mobs we can get, so... I was thinking, can they actually hit us from here? Because if they can't, then it would be pretty efficient to just hit them from here. And at first, it seems a bit stupid to kill mobs at a distance that are encased in a grinder, but then, on another hand, it is quite efficient since... We could regenerate health and all the while still kill the mobs. Oh my god, it takes so much shots to kill. I mean, they just they just jump down from 24 blocks and we're still just shooting them. It takes like three or even five shots, full charge shots to kill them. Let's hope we get some... I really cross my um, fingers that we get some armor from those because I really hope that we get some chainmail armor or some golden enchanted armor because it's just gonna be swell if we do get that. So I'm just gonna wait until I fully regenerate there and then after that happens I'm just gonna go and once again spam them with my sword. Um, I really don't know how so many mobs were able to spawn suddenly. Let's hope that none of the items were actually despawned, um, because that would kind of suck, since I really want to collect all of the items from the witches and all of the armor items that might have been dropped, especially the enchanted armor items. Um, 
Okay, now looks like we can now go and spam some more. Okay, we're kind of running out of arrows right now. And there's still so much of them. Get all that XP right there. Actually, another way to do is just to get crits on them. Since, and by that I mean, um, this by jumping up and then down. It just seems like they're never ending. Like, really, it's amazing. Okay, well, at least we haven't been poisoned yet, so that's a positive thing. They're mostly throwing it around themselves, so. Okay, now we have been poisoned. Okay, now let's regenerate for a bit. There's only about three or so villagers. Uh, no, I mean, oh my god, I just mixed them up with the villagers. I mean, there's about three or four... Uh, two or three or four or so witches left in there, so let's just hope that we can go in there right now and Then collect all of their drops now. There's a bit more um, Mobs dropping down. Let's just hope oh my god They take so long to kill, but they're so good in resources because we can get redstone from them and, and glowstone Which is amazing. I mean, of course we can trade as soon as we get a villager trading center um, the uh, oh we actually ran out of space, so let me just come over here. Oh, wow, that's quite a bit. Uh, four redstone. Well, I wouldn't call that a lot, but um, I wouldn't say no to four redstone either because that's still quite a bit of redstone. And of course, we have already broke almost like four swords from doing that, so um, yeah, that was fun. Let me see. That was nice. We did get four redstone, which is quite a bit for um, as far as vi um, witches go, since witches don't usually drop much redstone. But I was really hoping to get some enchanted armor, and I'm still surprised how come we never got any enchanted armor. It might have despawned, which probably really sucks, but now thankfully we have 50 redstone, so yeah, it's great. So, most likely, probably in the next episode, we will uh, pipe some of the villagers to the villager breeder. I know I have been kind of putting this off, but I really want to... I really want to have it all in good order, so that by the time that I pipe the villagers, so I make sure that everything is optimal. And by that, I mean that uh, I, I'm gonna leave straight for the villager breeder, like practically right now, right in the morning, because I have to have the optimal amount of daytime so that I can... so that I can pipe the villagers without having to be scared that night will come soon, but, um, anyway, thank you for watching, this is Minecraft uh, see you all in the next episode, and, uh, I have a lot of things planned for the next episode, hopefully we're gonna launch our villager breeder, so... Yeah, thank you for watching. This is Mike Kralix, and see you all in the next episode.